Hey guys, it's Callie, and I'm back with the next installment for our Kanmare purging. Now, the next thing on the list are valuables, um, and she includes like credit cards and passports. I took care of all the valuable papers and things like that that I have when we did the document purge. So that's not applicable to me. I don't have a passport and I don't have a credit card. So we're going to move on to the next category, which will be electrical equipment and appliances and tools. I'll gather what I can gather um, and anything else that I have, I will show you. Uh, like I'm not going to put the TV in a pile. And I honestly am going to tell you that we're not getting rid of the TV. So I'll do what I can and I'll get back and I'll show you what we got. So electrical appliances and tools. Okay, I'm just going to start with what I won't be moving. Um, the first thing that we're definitely keeping is my microwave. Definitely keeping the KitchenAid mixer, my toaster, my food processor, my blender, my coffee pot, and my juicer, and the coffee uh, bean grinder. All of these things that are out on my counter, I use frequently. I may be putting some of these away, like my blender. I might make room in the cabinet when we're done here, but those are things I won't be moving, and I know for sure I'm keeping. I'm also going to show you, uh, let me see. I've started putting things on the table here, um, but I just, I know for sure that this new lamp here I'm keeping, um, the one in the back can go. It's brand new, but it's been in my bedroom for forever. So I know that can go. And everything else, you guys, I'm going to put in a big pile. But I'm also keeping this lamp here. Uh, this water fountain is electrical, I guess you could consider that. We're keeping that as well. Keeping the television. The telephone. The Xbox, the iPad, the Kindle. Uh, the guitar tuner, the stereo speakers. And then in the bedroom, we will be keeping, I have that um, lamp right there, the triangular one, as well as another TV in the bedroom. So that stuff I know for sure we'll be keeping. I will be back with a pile of stuff that we're going to go through. Okay, here we have it. And I've decided to do like, hammer and nails and screws and all that separately after I do this. Um, and I could pretty much go through this because I have my hands on everything as I took it out and I'll tell you what I'm going to keep and what we're going to purge. Uh, so here we go. I showed you already what we're keeping just before. Also, in addition to that, I have these two little gooseneck lamps that I use in my filming, keeping those keeping this lighted drawing table. I have a fondue pot um, that I love the idea of and I used to love to do fondue, but that's gonna go. My vacuum is staying. This little Proctor Silex handy chopper, I use it all the time, it's staying. My crock pot is staying. This immersion blender I got very recently at the auction. Honestly, I've used it once I'm going to hang on to it, but if I don't use it within a year, six months to a year, that's going to go as well. Um, I have a purple air pop popcorn machine, keeping that. This Steam Magic Pro, I got it from the auction, never used it once, that's going to go. Keeping my iron, keeping my hand mixer, keeping my Dremel. This steamer my daughter just got me for Christmas, keeping that. Here's an electric griddle, keeping that. My curling iron on the floor, keeping that. Those hot rollers I got about three years ago. I used them once. I'm going to hang on to them, but again, if I don't use them within six months to a year, I'm going to let them go as well. Uh, my pasta machine attachment, the electrical attachment for spaghetti making, I'm going to keep that. I use the pasta machine itself for clay. 
Um, uh, maybe I should just let it go. I'm not going to be making clay spaghetti. We'll see. Uh, this stovetop grill, again, my oldest daughter gave me for Christmas this year. I have not yet used it, but I'm keeping that. I have a bread box Toastmaster, uh, bread machine, which is basically brand new. I used it once. Uh, that's going to go. I can bake bread in the oven. So there you have it, you guys. And I'm going to be cleaning out. Most of the stuff came out of the corner cupboard over here. I'm going to wipe everything out, wipe everything down, and I'll make a, a donate pile. And then we're going to move on to uh, hand tools and, like I said, screws and nuts and bolts. See you in a minute. Okay, so here's our electronics giveaway pile. The lamp, the bread maker, the fondue pot, and the steam iron. Um, I had also, this morning, in anticipation of this purge, gave my youngest daughter another curling iron, a blow dryer, and a makeup mirror. I also removed, there's the grill. I took that out of the packaging. Um, that's another thing that Maria Kondo advocates is removing things from their packaging when you get them into your home, as well as that's the attachment to the pasta maker. I don't know why I'm keeping that. Uh, again, I'm, I, I don't know, but I can't let that go yet. So I just, I took it out of the packaging and there it is. So I'm going to put this stuff away and then I'll gather together my tools, etc. See you in a minute. Just jumping in with an update before I get too far. This cupboard here is what I'm going to be using to store, uh, what we just basically dealt with. So I've cleaned it out and I've already started putting things away. That's my pressure cooker back there. I'll be keeping that. So when I get to pots and pans, I'm just going to leave that alone because I do do canning and things like that. So that's a keeper. I put the grill up there. There's some cookie cutters and some um, canning supplies and my crock pot. So this is where I'm also going to put my KitchenAid mixer. And I'll show you what I pulled out of this cabinet. Um, I have another one of these, which matches this one in the back here. So I may keep, I got this at the auction as well as the other one. I may keep this. We'll see. Um, this little mini spice rack is, I'm going to give it away. This is a milk bottle that I've used to burn rope incense in. I'm going to keep that until the rope incense is gone. Um, and I, there were some vases in there that I'm going to keep. So, yeah, we're going to put the KitchenAid mixer down in here, too. That will clear up some space, as well as the rest of these things. A few things here. Uh, my Dremel I'll put back with my tools. I forgot to pull out my sewing machine, but I'll deal with that when we get to that category. Uh, there's the grill. Here is a bag of things that were in that cabinet as well. So empty tins and jars and things. And then this is our giveaway bin. Um, there's also a, a gold planter and a little brass like uh, fireplace match holder. So that's where we're at as far as this goes. So obviously I haven't pulled out any nuts and bolts yet. But this will just take me a few more minutes. And I feel really good about it. See you in a minute. Okay, guys, this is what I'm working with for now, and I'm really pleased with the way this looks. I don't know if I'm going to keep it this way, but as you can see, I was able to put away my mixer and my blender as well as the food processor. I left the juicer out as well as the coffee pot and the coffee grinder because, you know, I use those on a daily basis, but uh, I freed up a lot of counter space. I hung a cutting board back there. I switched out my, my clothespins. I told you I have those twines up there for my drying racks. I put purple clothespins up there. Um, I hang my stencils and things like that to dry. I was able to fit both spice racks. I got them on two separate occasions at the auction, but they are definitely brother and sister. And I love to use, um, you know, why would I use spice bottles for spices? I use them for beads and little charms and things like that. So I like the way that looks and freed up a lot of counter space, you guys. I moved the toaster above the microwave and then I have that canister there, which is full of tea bags. So I was able to fit all the appliances in this cabinet right here. 
And although it's a little crowded right now, as I continue to free up space while we do the purge in the kitchen, I'll be able to move them. But I'll show you what it looks like. Um, they're right there. What I use the most, uh, my food processor and blender, and then other things. And it's pretty deep in there. But again, I will be moving that stuff around as we go along. And as far as what we're getting rid of, Oh, also in this corner where the food pro uh, where the juicer is now, I used to have a three-tiered wicker shelf that I've had for years. And honestly, even though I still think it's cool, um, I've decided that it's time for it to go and spread joy elsewhere. So um, if I had any room available for it in the house, I might keep it. Um, but it's not something I could put outside and again, it brought me joy for many years and I think it's time for it to bring joy to someone else. So I'm going to let that go and there's the bin. Um, I threw in a little spice rack there and a planter on top of the other stuff I showed you and then um, that's the bag of garbage. So now it's going to be on to tools and I shared with you guys, uh, I showed you my Dremel already. And then I don't have a lot of tools, you guys. In this drawer right here, which is next to my junk drawer, which is very scary. Uh, this drawer is also scary. I'm a neat Virgo on the outside and disorganized in my closets and drawers, or used to be before Kanmare. So I'm going to pull all this stuff out. There's nuts and bolts and exacto knives and the world's biggest rubber band ball and things like that. And I also have a drawer in my bedroom uh, on the cabinet that the TV is on that has some bins of screws and things like that. So I'm gonna gather all that stuff together and then we are going to come back here and I will show you where, what we got as far as tools or what I have as far as tools. See you in a minute. Wow. I decided to put this on the table so it'll be easier for me to work with. And uh, yeah. Really, honestly, you guys, all I need are a hammer and nails and a pair of scissors. I, I don't know where the rest of this crap came from. There are bags of things, paper clips, and a, my rivet maker, and hose clamps, flashlights, rubber bands, all kinds of miscellaneous The hinges to my bedroom door because I took it off and hung beads just crap screwdrivers bleach pens zip ties randomness uh yeah so much stuff i'm really not looking forward to going through all of this but what are you gonna do uh i'm blessed to have it i guess so thankful and um not a lot of this is sparking joy right now but i will go through every single bit of it and I'll show you how I'm going to store it. I was able to grab something at the auction this weekend that will help out a lot with organization. And I'm just going to dive into it because there's no other way to deal with it. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you back here when I've made a little sense out of this madness. Well, that was definitely no fun, but now it's done and I feel really good about it. Uh, let me just show you what I'm keeping. So there's my Dremel. I have two X-Acto knife sets um, in this compartment box, which I'll show you where I'm going to put everything when I'm done here, but there's just some eye hooks, picture hanging stuff, thumbtacks, more thumbtacks, more thumbtacks, two like S hooks, some washers, and some fishing weights, picture hooks, a bucket of nails, this um, are light plates switch plates and I told you the hinges from my door so when I move out of the cottage I'll put the door back on the hinges the light switch plates because every light switch in my house I've altered this is just one example but um, so when I leave I'll be putting white ones back on I have a vice I have Dremel um, accessories more Dremel accessories, some drill bits, my collet nut kit, <laughs> some drawer pulls and hooks, just decorative, a hammer, a flashlight, the rubber band ball, 
some zip ties, two rulers, a wooden ruler and a plastic ruler, a bag of um, like craft pliers and needle nose pliers, things like that, a bag of paper clips, my rivet, riveter <laughs> with rivets, um, assorted scissors. These are good because they're heavy duty and you can cut through metal with these. This used to be a good pair of cloth shears that I just use for crafting now. These could actually probably go. All right, these are going to go because I have a bag of scissors with my sewing things too. This is a pair of um, paper, like a decorative edge kind of a scissor, which I'll keep. These are good for crafting and things like that. I have a flat nose plier, a needle nose plier, a pair of hemostats, a tweezer, hole punch, a, what do you call these? Craft knife, whatever, box cutter, yeah. Um, some razor blades, and that's it for keeping. And what I'm going to try to arrange things in is I got this at the auction for a couple dollars this weekend. You can arrange the yellow things inside it. I just washed it out. And so I'm going to try to put a lot of it in there. And then I'll be able to put that uh, in the top of my uh, utility closet, if you will. So I'll get back to you. Oh, I'll show you what we're going to get rid of. Those scissors as well as um, this screwdriver. And I'll ask Tom if he wants any of this stuff. But this screwdriver, this bag of sorted nuts, bolts, you name it kind of stuff. And two containers of screws and nails. So I th I'm feeling pretty good about this, you guys. And so I'll just add this stuff to that pile over there. And I'll get back to you when this stuff gets organized in this thing. See you in a minute. Okay, you guys, I'm finally finished. I put everything away, and I'm so pleased with the way it worked out. I'll show you how I'm going to store things. This is that drawer, and this is what I use the most often. So I, this is what I kept in here. I have a hammer, the two screwdrivers, the, there's three pair of scissors, <laughs> paper clips, my little organizer with just thumbtacks, nails, and picture hanging stuff. Rubber band ball. All those little needle nose pliers and things. I use them often in my, my jewelry making and beading and things like that. And I was able to consolidate both boxes of X-Acto knives into one. Um, including blades and stuff like that. It's also something I use very often. So I thought that looked really good in there. And then as far as extra storage for tools, I really, I thought I was going to have to use the cabinet in my bedroom. Not at all, you guys. I wound up being able to take everything and put it in this box with the exception of the vise, the vise, 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 which, uh, I don't know. It, you know what? You, you don't need it until you need it. But um, I have used it recently uh, to hold dominoes, actually, while I was drilling. But I'll keep it around. Um, and then everything else fit in here, you guys, including my Dremel. So I, I know uh, Marie Kondo recommends that you throw away instruction manuals and things like that. But I am keeping my Dremel instruction manual, some Dremel parts and drill bits. I put those parts in a bag. Here are some uh, blank light switch covers, extra divider tabs, router, my Dremel, um, picture hanging equipment, including those two hooks. Uh, oh, I guess it's time to change the blade. <laughs> my rivet kit, more Dremel stuff, and... The tweezers, hole punch, hemostats, and razor blades. Just miscellaneous. So, you guys, I am thrilled with this. I'm going to put this back here for now. 
and this will go in the top of my utility closet like I said and the next thing on our list will be oh and this is what I, this is our throwaway pile I wound up putting a couple bags of the screws and stuff in there too and the next thing on the list is household equipment which she defines as stationary writing supplies sewing kits and linen so like towel sheets things like that that's not going to be tonight you guys um but that will be the next purge that we do so stay tuned if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and check out the rest of the videos in my kamari series and i would love it if you had a great night so take care you guys i hope you enjoyed this i'll see you soon bye bye